they thought it was just another rock from deep space, a wandering interstellar object, harmless, quiet, drifting toward the sun. But then the James Webb Space Telescope captured something nobody anticipated, a coma glowing deep red, symmetrical beyond natural explanation. No water, no tail, no familiar signs of a comet, only mechanically released carbon dioxide, with precision. And now scientists are whispering something they never thought they'd say aloud. What if this isn't any kind of comet? The last time something like this happened, it was Oumuamua, and that already caused shock waves to sweep across the world of astronomy. But 3 Atlas, this one doesn't just challenge what we know, it rewrites the rules. And with every passing day, it gets closer. What James Webb just confirmed about 3 Atlas is more than shocking, it's terrifying. And no one, not even NASA, is prepared for what comes next. From the beginning, 3 Atlas stood apart from everything we thought we understood about visitors from other stars, instead of a chaotic coma made of water vapor and dust. The Webb telescope detected something completely different, an enormous red sphere of gas, nearly the size of the Earth-Moon distance, expanding evenly in all directions. The color wasn't pale or icy, it sparkled with an ominous crimson hue. Alarmingly, it wasn't water forming this halo, it was carbon dioxide, and only carbon dioxide, given its distance from the Sun. Water should have been dominant. Every comet we've ever observed at this range boils off its water first, creating spectacular tails and jets that make even backyard telescopes buzz with excitement. But Atlas didn't follow that rulebook. It seemed to operate under entirely different physics. No jets, no well bursts, no sign of chaos at all. Just a slow, steady release of seal like something had flipped a switch and was bending with quiet airy control, astronomers turned their attention to the core, the solid nucleus at the heart of the coma, and the findings sent shivers through their bodies. Early estimates from Hubble suggested the nucleus was tiny, barely 300 to 500 meters across. But when Webb and Spherics began scanning in near-infrared wavelengths, the intensity of reflected light didn't match those dimensions, not even close. According to repeated models, the nucleus might actually be over 46 kilometers wide, larger than 90% of all comets ever observed. That kind of mass should have made Atlas obvious from the start. Its gravitational field alone could have distorted light from background stars. Yet somehow it remained invisible until now. How? Some scientists suggested the reflectivity might not come from the core at all but from particles in the coma. But that theory fell apart when they analyzed the reflectivity curve. It was too smooth, too consistent. It looked engineered. A natural body should scatter light randomly. However, this was symmetric, polished, uniform, like a mirror made by thoughtful hands. Every comet has a voice. And in most cases, that voice is water. As they approach the sun, frozen water turns to vapor, forming those iconic glowing tails. 3 Atlas, though, has remained eerily silent. Spectral data confirms that water is present beneath its surface, waiting there, dormant, but it's not emerging. Instead, just 4.5 kilograms of water are released per second, a tenth of what's expected. One theory says the intense CO outgassing is providing warmth like a blanket, cooling the surface and trapping the water beneath. Another says the water is buried to deep, unreachable by solar heat. But here's the problem, even those theories can't explain the consistency. No cracks, no disruptions, no spikes in water vapor. Just one steady rhythm of CO, over and over, like a machine. And that begs the question, what if the absence of water isn't a coincidence? What if it's intentional? If an object defies our understanding, shouldn't the headline be Comet News? When Oumuamua was discovered in 2017, it sparked a worldwide explosion of curiosity. Within days, it was all over the media, with Harvard scientists even suggesting it could be technology from out there. But 3 Atlas. Nothing. Silence. NASA's Spherix found Atlas in August 2025. The enormous red coma it captured. The baffling lack of water. The odd reflectivity. Yet there were no press releases. No interviews. Not even a tweet. The data was quietly buried in a blog post weeks later as if it were routine, as if it weren't history being made. Some experts chalk it up to protocol. Others say it's about avoiding speculation. But more and more voices in the scientific community are starting to say what many are thinking. This feels familiar.
This feels controlled, and if NASA is keeping quiet, maybe it's because they know more than they're saying. 3 Atlas doesn't just look strange. It behaves in a manner that defies the laws of nature. Its trajectory is not just interstellar. It's impossibly accurate. Unlike traditional comets that enter our solar system from disturbances caused by gravity or passive drift along hyperbolic paths, 3 Atlas seems to be following a calculated route that comes very close to enough planets and solar radiation to collect data but never so close as to be destabilized. When its anticipated course was reverse-engineered, astronomers were shocked. It appeared that the object made small adjustments during flight, angularity, minuscule and almost invisible changes that ought to be impossible for a natural body. These adjustments to the course require energy, intent, and awareness. In other words, this object isn't just moving through our solar system, it's navigating it. And at that time, those routes, cross-referenced with historic observations of deep sky anomalies, led some researchers to believe this object, or something like it, may have passed near Earth in the past, concealed in ancient observations mistaken for stars or eclipses, as if it hadn't already visited, as if it knows the way. While James Webb focused on the spectral analysis of 3 Atlas's coma, it made a discovery that is currently in the news, debated behind closed doors. The object emits a corresponding spectral signature to complex organic molecules, not uncommon in deep space. But what made this terrifying was the ratio and arrangement of those molecules. Instead of random dispersion, the data revealed a repeating chemical rhythm, methanol, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, not random but structured, layered, and scattered. The layering resembled the protein pattern folding found in terrestrial life forms. Now, let's be clear. No one is saying 3 Atlas is alive, but the molecular order suggests the goal of design. One fringe theory, now slowly entering mainstream circles, argues that these molecules may be part of a biological probe, rather than a message to be read, to be inhaled by a planetary biosphere. Essentially, a payload. And if a planet's atmosphere interacts with these molecules in just the right way, we may not have years to prepare. We may only have months. On a quiet morning in late July, the SETI Institute picked up a signal, not from a star system, not from deep space, but somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. It was a brief, narrow-band signal that kept playing and, when decoded to audio, sounded eerily like a pulsed synthetic tone, a rotating beacon similar to those used in early radar or submarine sonar. Normally, SETI would dismiss this as terrestrial interference, but they couldn't. The signal moved in sync with the trajectory of 3 Atlas. The origin point changed slightly as the object changed. The signal wasn't coming from Earth, it was following the comet. For 17 minutes, this tone echoed through multiple observatories. Then, silence. When SETI attempted to triangulate, their systems experienced a total data crash. Logs were wiped, antennas misaligned, internal backups scrambled, and just like that, the story vanished. The official explanation, a problem with the weather. However, the involved engineers have all executed NDAs. Some have quit. Another was recently hospitalized after claiming he had heard the signal in his dreams. The James Webb Telescope operates in infrared, capable of detecting heat signatures from billions of years ago. When directed directly at 3 Atlas's nucleus, scientists expected to find a comet's cold, solid core. Instead, they found a flat line, not low, not variable, but perfectly zero. This is impossible. Every object in space emits some infrared radiation, but 3 Atlas seemed to absorb and reflect nothing. It was as if it weren't there, or worse, as if it existed in a separate thermal dimension. This anomaly sparked a comparison with other instruments, such as the Solar Orbiter. They confirmed it, the object's core was a void, reflecting no heat, no absorption spectrum, not even when blasted by solar wind. The only logical conclusion was that the substance of the object's core was unknown, indicating it was encased, or hollow, or perhaps a projection. 
Some now believe what we're seeing may not be the object itself, but a shell, a decoy, a mask for something concealed behind frequencies we do not yet comprehend, a thing that has been watching us long before we had the tools for looking back. When researchers enhanced three Atlas's images using Fourier transformation and multi-spectrum filters, they stumbled upon a terrifying occurrence concealed within the gas cloud which should be random, a repeating fractal pattern, not across each frame, not twice, but captured only once over a 17-day period. The pattern wasn't decorative. It was structured, geometric, and recursively nestled, as though the cloud were codifying information in the form of a visual algorithm. One group attempted to map the fractal to known mathematical constants. The results aligned eerily with the golden ratio and Fibonacci sequences, both firmly established in the natural order but also in human consciousness.